today we are going to make a cute little teddy bear using a vintage quilt square. So instead of chit chatting about it, let's go ahead and get started with this process. Let's review what all we are going to need today. We are going to need a pair of uh, scissors. We're going to need some pins. And if you are not using a sewing machine, you will need a needle and thread. We are using a light pink thread. You're going to need a pattern. And as you can see, I drew out a teddy bear um, on some, uh, more like a cardstock almost. It's thicker than, than your normal, normal paper. The star of the show is this beautiful vintage uh, quilt block that will serve as our teddy bear. Let's put him over to the side for just a moment. So I took a white fabric that I had, uh, soaked it in coffee, um, rinsed it out and let it dry and just ironed it out to get a piece to use for this project. So you are going to need something to use for stuffing for your animal, for your little teddy bear. I purchased uh, this polyfill. Um, if you have some old pillows around the house that you were just looking to get rid of, you could always use the filling out of those. I'm just going to pin him down. This is just to keep this little guy stabilized while I cut around him. We are going to do this process on both this quilt piece and then I'm going to do it again using this piece of fabric. So we have finished cutting out these two pieces of fabric. I'm going to take this guy to the sewing machine and we are going to stitch around him. We are not going to turn him inside out or anything like that, so we want wrong sides together. So this is the wrong side of my fabric. And this is the wrong side of my fabric. That, there we go. I am going to pin him one more time. And that's just so that he doesn't get away from me while he's in my sewing machine. So let's just put a few little pins in here to stabilize him. So we are just going to put a straight stitch in this guy. So we have quilted all the way around our little teddy bear. And now it is time to make him fluffy. We didn't quilt all the way around. We actually left a little place right here where we can put his stuffing in. Actually, should have left a little more space. Let's just pull some of that, which I didn't lock that first thread, so we can get that space that we need. So let's stuff this guy. So I did grab a 
dowel just to help with this. If you do not have a dowel, if you have like a, a, a skewer that sometimes you'll use to uh, cook on the grill, that may also come in handy if you don't have something like this. So we are just going to start by putting this in, stuffing this little guy. So we need to get that stuffing to each part of his little body. So we want to start up here filling up his ears. Okay, so we have finished stuffing this little guy. The only thing we have left to do now is to close up that last little bit. So we're going to go back to the sewing machine, finish sewing that, and then we will have our cute little teddy bear. Okay, so I've cut three of these, just, you know, some twine that I happen to have. Just cut three sections. These are about 24 inches, about 24 inches long for this little guy. And let's just put that one open pretty close. And then we're just going to tie a simple, a simple bow around this little fella's neck. So that's it for today's project. I think he turned out rather cute. Um, if you enjoy today's content, I hope that you will give me a follow on Instagram, like this video, subscribe, um, and be notified of other videos coming out. In the meantime, until, until we meet again, get out there, create something fun, make it yours, and enjoy the process. Sending best. Bye-bye.